Where and how to watch the Orionids Meteor Shower 2024. The Orionid Meteor Shower predicted peak for 1814 UTC on October 20th, 2024. When to watch? Watch for Orionid meteors on both the mornings of October 20th and 21st, starting after midnight through the wee hours before dawn. Overall duration of shower, September 26th to November 22nd. The radiant rises before midnight and is highest in the sky around 2 a.m. The full moon falls at 1126 UTC on October 17th. So, at the Orionids peak, the, the waning gibbous moon will interfere with the meteor shower. Expected meteors at peak under ideal conditions, under a dark sky with no moon, the Orionids exhibit a maximum of about 10 to 20 meteors per hour. These fast-moving meteors occasionally leave persistent trains. The Orionids sometimes produce bright fireballs. Orionid meteor shower peaks during a waning gibbous moon. As for most meteor showers, the hours between midnight and dawn are best for the Orionids. A waning gibbous will be shining brightly during the peak times of the Orionids in 2024. The term meteor shower might give you the idea of a rain shower, but few meteor showers resemble showers of rain and the Orionids aren't the year's strongest shower anyway. Plus, they're not particularly known for storming, producing unexpected, very rich displays. From a dark location, you might see 10 to 20 Orionids per hour at their peak. There's always the element of uncertainty and possible surprise when it comes to meteor showers, though. Orionid meteors radiate from constellation Orion meteors, and annual showers are named for the point in our sky from which they appear to radiate. The radiant point for the Orionids is in the direction of the famous constellation Orion the Hunter, which you'll find ascending in the east in the hours after midnight during October. Hence the name Orionids. You don't need to know Orion or be staring toward it to see the meteors. The meteors often don't become visible until they are 30 degrees or so from their radiant point. And remember, they are streaking out from the radiant in all directions they will appear in all parts of the sky. But if you do see a meteor and trace its path backward, you might see that it comes from the club of Orion. And if so, that meteor will be an Orionid. You might know Orion's bright, ruddy star Betelgeuse. The radiant is north of Betelgeuse. How to see the Orionids. You don't need any special equipment or a lot of skills to view a meteor shower. Even though all you really need is a clear sky, lots of patience, and our handy interactive meteor shower sky map with a visibility conditions meter to see a meteor shower, the following tips can help maximize your shooting star viewing experience. Find a secluded viewing spot away from the city lights. Once at the venue, your eyes may take 15 to 20 minutes to get used to the dark. Dress for the weather and make sure you are comfortable especially if you plan to stay out long. Bring a blanket or a comfortable chair with you. Meteor watching can be a waiting game. Once you have found your viewing spot, lie down on the ground and look at the sky. You can use our interactive meteor shower sky map or the table above to find the direction of the radiant. The higher the radiant is above the horizon, the more meteors you are likely to see. Meteor showers appear to originate from the radiant, but meteors can appear in any part of the sky. Where is best to watch the Orionid meteor shower? For the best conditions, you want to find a safe location away from streetlights and other sources of light pollution. The meteors can be seen in all parts of the sky, so it's good to be in a wide open space where you can scan the night sky with your eyes. But if you trace the paths that the meteors take, they seem to originate from the constellation of Orion. Enjoy these extra events to spice up your nights of stargazing, and you'll gain a greater appreciation of just how much there is to see out there. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.